Kari, start with, um, obviously, you've been battling injuries a lot. Do, do you ever flinch when there's a big girl like that coming down the lane and you have to step in and take a charge? I will from now on. Um, yeah, I will from now on. I will <laughs> second guess all of my charges from now on. Ow. I'm still shaking. Joe Bricado, go ahead. All right, I know Max still got some pretty good numbers, but what did you guys do to take away her good looks, particularly in the second half, close to the basket? <coughs> um, just uh, mostly uh, staying on top of her, not letting her uh, duck in, because that's where she lives, of course, is in that paint. But uh, she's real she's real good about uh, when the ball is being reversed by her team. She's really good at ducking in and getting the ball and just finishing. So a lot of things that we try to do is try to take away that uh, pass in from the wing, deny her the ball as much as we possibly could. Of course, like you said, she's still got some good looks and um, everything, but we still, we held her to 15. She's been having 30 point games, so. Back to Greg. How difficult was it for you guys to get an offensive flow without Kaiser? Without who? Kaiser? Oh. Um. I don't think it was hard per se. I think today was a, another hard fought game, um, a lot like Texas Tech. Uh, I think that we still play some pretty good um, basketball. I think we still had some pretty good offense. Um, we took some quick shots, yes, um, but we, at the end of the day, we recovered, we slowed down and continued to play our game. Any more questions for Kari? Hmm. All right, Kari, thank you. We appreciate